everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my skincare routine. I am wearing my Hiram hoodie, Skincare Junkie. I love to watch Hiram. He is so good about the ingredients and everything. So yeah, just thought I would represent here. But first things first, I am going to wash my face. This is the Banish All Clear Mint Cleanser. And I love it because it is, I mean, if you can just see, it is so gentle on the skin. Um, so I just squirt some out and you can just see how gentle it is. So I love how it doesn't get like super soapy. It rinses so easily. I know a lot of cleansers feel super soapy and like plastic and like super drying. This cleanser doesn't have any alcohol. If you look at the ingredients, I mean, most of Banish products, you can read all the ingredients in here. So you have aloe vera leaf juice, organic vegetable glycerin, cucumber peel extract, chamomile peel extract. I mean, you can read it and it leaves your skin looking so fresh and so clean. I am going to be using my Banisher and the pumpkin enzyme mask. So taking my pumpkin enzyme mask and I like to do this before getting a pimple. So every time I get a zit, it leaves a scar and I usually get a zit before that time of month, which is currently right now. It is so yummy. It's like the pumpkin pie. And I just put it on my jawline because this is where I tend to get all those breakouts. And I just love the feeling when I put it on. It kind of tingles. I love it. It like tingles so good. I feel like it doesn't tingle, doesn't work, right? Um, it has glycolic acid in there. And the great thing about glycolic acid is that the molecules of glycolic acid are so small, it goes into the pores and just like vacuums them out in your skin. So that way your skin is not gonna break out. So if I break out nowadays, it's usually along the jawline area and that's really hormonal related. You can also do this all across your skin, but I'm just gonna do this in areas where uh, I'm kind of prone to breaking out and I just feel like my nose has been really congested. You know, you get like the pores around your nose. So I'm just going to do it around here. And this is what I love about the pumpkin enzyme mask because you can just do it wherever. Whew, I feel it and I love that feeling. It feels so good. All right, just reading you some of the ingredients. We got pumpkin fruit, organic bilberry fruit extract, organic sugar cane extract, organic orange peel extract. I mean, vitamin C glycolic acid, cinnamon bark powder, ginger root. It's so, so good for your skin. And so I'm just putting it here. And then after I use it, my skin just amazingly glows. Okay, so while I do this, I'm gonna do the banisher on my face because we are going to kill some acne scars. So this is my banisher 2.0. I am going to pour alcohol in the fill line right here. And this is our patented microneedling tool. Um, it has these tiny, I don't know if you can tell, like they're so tiny and fine. Do you see that sparkle? You can see how straight the little needles are and they're not hooked and they go at a point. So they're like, instead of like straight across. A lot of the other derma roller stamper products, the needles go straight. So it's gonna puncture into the skin more than it needs to. So what I do is I just do this around here where I have, you can see I have acne scars. So I do that and it's super simple. I'm gonna just use my banish it's just easier. Um, so I just push it and I let it go. And then I just like, do it in different areas. And I love, love, love using the stamper because if you have like an active breakout, you can go around the active breakout. And you wanna make sure if you're using the banisher to always, always clean it. So by pouring alcohol in the cleaning container and then to make sure you're doing it on super clean skin. I hadn't been wearing makeup for a few days um so you can double cleanse sometimes if you want you can take some of the rubbing alcohol put on your face before you start using the banisher but you just want to make sure you're not wearing any makeup you don't have any like residue on your skin so just pushing it in my skin 
there we go. You can just see it's a little bit red, um, but there's no blood. There's nothing crazy going on. Just a little bit red, which is totally fine. It's totally normal. It's going to go away. So then you just want to make sure you clean this afterwards because before you put it back in the cleaning container because you want to make sure everything is sterile. That's the most important thing when you're using your banished products. All right. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the banished oil and rubbing it in between my fingers. You want to use clean hands and then you're just going to push it in, push it in. We just created those tiny little microscopic holes in the skin. So we're just going to give all of that yummy vitamin C goodness. I love it. Um, l acid is so good for the skin. What it's going to do is it go, it's going to force your skin to reproduce collagen like crazy. And then your acne scars are going to go like this to like this, you know, it's just going to push up because there's going to be so much volume underneath that skin. It'll flatten the acne scars. Now, obviously acne scars are permanent damage and sometimes there's no way to get rid of them all. I have a lot of acne scars I've had for over 15 years. So what I can do is lessen the appearance of them, but I can't get rid of them. So I still have, you know, you can still see a little bit of the acne scars, but that's totally okay. It's totally normal. Acne and acne scars don't make us any worse or better than anybody else. We should embrace them, but of course, use good skincare and do what you can to make your skin very, very healthy. And this is also really good microneedling if you want to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, if you want to um, remove stretch marks or any kind of scarring. It's just gonna force your skin to reproduce the collagen underneath, so it's just really good skin rejuvenation, and you should do it consistently to see new skin reappear. So you can see now, once I finished, the banished treatment, the pumpkin mask has dried. And in this case, I'm gonna use a washcloth. But I like to remove this in the shower, it's much easier. <laughs> but this is really good because a lot of times we don't focus on cleaning our neck area and our chin and jawline area. And that is where you can break out a ton. And you can see, you can definitely multitask. I'm definitely a multitasker, so. Finish on the top, pumpkin on the bottom. So now that is done, I'm gonna use my vitamin C beauty elixir. This is so great. You can use it as a toner, as a setting spray, as kind of like a moisture ingredient to your skincare. The ingredients in here, aloe vera leaf juice, organic bilbay extract, organic sugar cane extract, organic orange extract. I mean, there's so many great ingredients. And again, we don't have any uh, fragrance or added colors or mineral oils or artificial whatever in our products, right? Oh, so good, so refreshing. I don't know if you can see, so relaxing. What you can do too is if you want to use it as a toner, you can just take like a cotton ball or cotton swab, place it on here and then, whew, and then use it along your skin. Now I just want to share with you guys something magical. So you know there's pure vitamin C in this product. This elixir is probably three months, no, six months old. It is kind of an older elixir. It's fine, it, perf it works perfectly. This is a clean cotton, cotton round. Now if I spray it, you can see it's a little yellow. Do you guys see that? It's a little yellow, which means that there's pure vitamin C in here. Isn't that crazy? You guys, this is, this is our products will change color because they're so fresh and they contain the pure ingredients. So my light just went up, but it is so good. So yeah, let me show you again if you didn't see that. <laughs> we make our products fresh. So when you order from us, um, we ship it the next day. We mix it and we make it the next day. And this is why you get products that turn color when you use it. I think that's so cool. All right. So then that's done. Now I'm going to use um, my vitamin C cream. Guys, this is the goat. This is the goat. It is so good and it is so yummy. If you leave this out, it's gonna turn 
and like a little bit of a, it's, it comes out white when you first get it, but then it turns more of like a yellow, which means it has pure vitamin C in it. I think that's so great. So I just like to melt it on my skin like butter. So when you leave this like in a cold environment or in a fridge, it gets really hard like butter. And then you put it in your palms and it melts. And it's so good. That's how you know how fresh it is, right? Because it doesn't have those preservatives to keep it at a liquid viscosity. It comes out solid and then it melts. So you just know it's real, you know? If your skincare changes, you know it's real. I think that's so, so important for us not to use products that last forever. It's kind of like, you know, the McDonald's hamburger, if you leave it out for 50 years, it still looks exactly the same because it's not real. It's filled with so much preservatives. So I put the vitamin C cream everywhere around my skin. Give myself some self-care. I know California has gone into its second lockdown now. So we have plenty of time to do self-care. So I like to also just really lightly massage under the eyes. You don't need eye cream. You just need good moisture. So this has, again, vitamin C. It has organic aloe vera leaf juice. It has so many amazing ingredients for your skin. Oh, feels so good. So I even put it on top of when I use the banisher. Uh, it just gives a little bit more extra moisture and vitamin C. Whatever products you use on top of the banisher, they have to be natural and they have to be ingredients you're not allergic to, otherwise you're gonna break out from it. Trust me from experience. Just reading you some of the ingredients, organic, Aloe vera leaf juice, rosehip fruit extract, organic cranberry, organic rosemary leaf extract. I mean, this stuff is the go. And you can see how solid it is and how it absorbs into my skin just like that. And I like to do this during the day before I put on any sunscreen, before I put on any makeup or whatnot. And then I also do it at night. Um, it just, my skin drinks it up. And the best part of this moisturizer that everybody loves is that it does not make you feel greasy. A lot of moisturizers make you feel super greasy. It oxidizes and it'll just kind of leave like oil pits on your skin. If you have oily skin, you know what I'm talking about. So this, I love, it doesn't do that. After like a few minutes, you'll touch your face and it doesn't feel like there's anything on it. It'll just feel like soft, hydrated skin, which is what you want. It doesn't feel like plasticky or slimy skin, which is what I feel like a lot of the moisturizers. All right, so now I wanna talk about the Fighter Gel, which is such our best-selling product. It is so good. So our Fighter Gel, I like to put this, if I do have anything I feel like is breaking out, like I feel like in certain areas of my skin I do, I'll put that on at night. Now I'm not gonna put it on now because I just did my daytime routine, but at night I'll just put the Fighter Gel, I can show you my hand, and then it's just a little dab is all you need. And what Fighter Gel does is it has an ingredient called dimethyl sulfan, which helps reduce the inflammation in your skin. So it's so, so good for preventing the breakouts. Again, we wanna prevent the breakouts before they form because it will reduce the inflammation in the skin. And then I can also put it on, you can see I have eczema, it's just really bad. I have like a nervous tick where I start scratching myself, but I put this on and you guys will see my skin will look so good. It just absorbs into the skin instantly. It doesn't leave a greasy, oily residue because we don't use any mineral oil, we don't use petrolatum products, we don't use um, silicones on our products, it's just organic aloe vera leaf juice, which your skin loves, like organic aloe vera leaf juice, what everyone used in the old days when they got cut, so they just take an aloe vera plant, just cut it and then put it on their skin, like that is as natural as it gets. Aloe vera is so great because it has calming properties, but also it has antiseptic and antimicrobial properties for preventing future acne, but it doesn't dry out your skin, which I think is so important. Current acne products, you know, they contain products that just dry out your skin so, so much in hopes of not getting that acne. Um, but you can be good to your skin, you can be kind to your skin without drying it out. So I think aloe vera is a perfect ingredient to hydrate your skin, to calm your skin, to uh, reduce inflammation and reduce acne and also help speed up the acne scar healing process. So that's why all of our products have that as the first ingredient and the base. So you can just see like just how much better it looks. It's gonna absorb into the skin. So I put the fire gel on my skin at night if I feel like 
something is happening to it. And you guys, I just went through all of our products. It is crazy because we don't have that many products and I firmly do not believe that we need a hundred million products for a skincare routine, the whole Korean beauty products that smell so amazing. They feel so good. It makes me break out every single time because there's so many ingredients that I personally am so allergic to. My skin does not tolerate a lot of stuff well. So that being said, mm, I spray my face with this bad boy here and you can just carry this in your purse. But now that we're in lockdown, I'm just gonna put it near my computer and every few hours or so, just in between Zoom meetings, spray your face. It'll keep your skin so hydrated. For the winter time, you don't need to apply so much lotion and moisturizers on your skin. Um, you don't need to put all those chemicals on your skin. Put the humidifier on, drink a ton of water, but also spray something like the Beauty Elixir, something with a lot of moisture and hydration on your skin regularly because the air is super dry, so you need that moisture back into your skin. But again, read the ingredient labels. Do not use any products with alcohol or any sprays with alcohol. I know a ton of them have those ingredients, so it's gonna make your skin worse. You can also take some distilled water and put it in a spray bottle and spray your face too. That way, that's fine. I also love the Evian water bottle thing, the Evian spray things. I love those too. And I love this to give me that vitamin C because we cannot have enough vitamin C in our skincare. So yeah, that's it for my skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.